praise the Lord and blessed be the name of the Lord God most high, the King of all kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Precious saints of the living God, the Lord God Almighty bless you all this morning. Thanks be to God Almighty who is the giver of all life and strength. The great I am, the I am that I am, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Hallelujah. In his name, he has given us life and abundant life and grace. And we thank God for the gift of life and the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. The Bible says that the steadfast love of the Lord that never ceases, his mercies never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So we thank God for his faithfulness and his mercies towards our lives. Hallelujah. His, his grace is sufficient for us. He has protected us, preserved us, and given us life once again. So we are grateful for the life that he has given us and we partake of life and godliness in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. People of God, wherever you are this morning, may the Lord God Almighty bless you and may the hand of God favor you all wherever you are listening to me and listening to the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. I pray that this morning as I minister the word of exhortation, uh, morning devotional message, I believe that God by his word and through the power of the Holy Spirit will speak to our hearts. His word will revive us. His word will exhort and comfort us. His word will transform us and his word will cut upon us and lift us to the place where we belong in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And so I pray this morning that God's word will touch our hearts and he will bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Kadu barandis katoska brada basiataya. Hallelujah. Praise be to God forevermore. Father, as I minister your word, let your word uh, cause transformation in the lives of your people. Let your word bring healing, deliverance, exaltation, upliftment, hope, and encouragement. Let your word motivate your people and let your word bring a revolution in the lives of your people, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Today, by the grace of God, I continue the message of trusting in God, trusting in God. And the subtitle today is called Remembering the Goodness of God. Remembering the Goodness of God. As I started a, a few days ago by preaching on how to trust in God, one of the ways that helps us to trust in God is by remembering the goodness of God. When we come to the place of remembering the things that God has done for us, we are showing our trust in God and our trustworthiness in God. So it is one of the ways that we trust in God by remembering the goodness of God in our lives. And we can find that in the book of Exodus chapter number 34, reading from the verse number 6 to the verse, uh, the verse number uh, 5 to the verse number 6. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 34, the verse number 5 to 6. Praise be to God forevermore. Let's hear the word of God. And the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the name of the Lord. The Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. I read it again. And the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. And the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and and truth hallelujah may the lord bless the reading of his word praise be to god forevermore people of god remembering the goodness of god helps us to come to the place of trusting in god this text of scripture in exodus chapter 34 talks about when god visited the people of israel at a time when moses was leading them and god visited them by giving the tablets unto moses 
And so God remembered his people when they came out of bondage and captivity from Egypt. And God remembered them. And when God remembered them, God decided to give them laws for them to walk before him. And the Bible says that and Moses was being given the tablets from God to help them to walk before the Lord. And the Bible says that God visited them. But on the day when God was about to visit them, the Bible says that and God had an appointment with Moses and God told Moses to meet him at Mount Sinai. That was the place of encounter. When Moses went to the place of Mount Sinai, the Lord visited him. And the Bible says in the verse 5, and the Lord descended. So the Lord came down as a pillar of cloud. People of God, whenever God remembers us, or whenever we also remember God, God visits us. There is always a divine visitation. And I pray for you and I that as we come to this place of trusting in God, uh, I want us to know that any time we put our trust in God and remember his goodness, God visits us. There will be a divine visitation. There will be a supernatural visitation. This morning, may God visit you as you remember the goodness of the Lord in your life. The things that God has done for us from the beginning of the year to where we are now in this year. When we begin to remember all these things that God has done, the gift of life, the, 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 the protection and the preservation of our lives, that he has delivered us from the things that the enemy planned and plotted against us. When we come to the place of remembering the goodness of God, God will visit us. There will be a divine visitation. So the Bible says that, and the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him. And the Bible says that, and the Lord proclaimed his name. And in the verse 6, the Bible says that, and he passed by and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious and long-suffering. I pray in the name of Jesus, may the graciousness of God, may the long-suffering of God, may the goodness of God uh, abound on you as you remember the good things that the Lord has done for you. Uh, as you come to the place of remembering God, trusting in Him that He is the all-sufficient God, He is the gracious God and He is the goodness of is the good, good God. May He release His goodness upon your life, His goodness upon your health, His goodness upon your family, His goodness upon your children. His goodness upon the work of your hands, His goodness upon your finances, His goodness upon your marriage, His goodness upon your business, and everything that concerns your life that pertains to life and godliness. May the goodness of God be remembered upon you as you come to the place of trusting in Him and you also come into the place of remembering all the things that He has done for you. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace of the goodness of God in the land of the living upon your life and your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you all this morning. Shalom. Peace from above. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the power of your word. Let your word bless your people. Father, as we keep trusting in you, uh, let the things that you have done for us be a point of contact, be a remembering indication in our lives that you are the God of goodness. This morning, show your people goodness. Show your people goodness. Show your people goodness. Let your goodness be manifested upon their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for the sick. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be loose. Let the, 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 those that are in captive be, be, be released. And let your glory be manifested upon their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Beloved, the Lord bless you. Come to this place of revelation knowledge in Christ Jesus, knowing that when we remember the goodness of the Lord in our lives, it helps us to continue to trust in God. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you all. Have a glorious day.